if you want to learn how to increase your stamina so you can perform better in games and not get so tired when you play, I'm going to show you how to do that using a treadmill. Minor detail but very important, you want to make sure that your shoes are tied up nice and tight. You want to double knot your laces so they don't come undone. But most importantly, having a tight shoe that actually fits your foot well is going to improve your foot strike and it's going to help your running efficiency. Before any workout, especially before running, you want to make sure that you do a good warm up. It doesn't have to be super long, but just make sure that you loosen up your legs. I like to do a little bit of biking and some leg swings because if you do not do this, you're going to start running and your legs are going to feel very heavy. So if you're playing in games and your legs feel really heavy right away, like within the first 10 minutes, it's probably because you're not doing a proper warm up. Let's get into the actual running. So what most players do when they want to improve their stamina is they'll go for a 30 minute jog. They'll go on the treadmill, they'll run for 30 minutes at a moderate pace. This is a waste of time. It will not actually help you improve your stamina in real match situations. So what you want to do is you want to challenge yourself. You need to do something that is uncomfortable, pushes you out of your comfort zone, makes you breathe, makes your legs a little heavy, makes you want to give up. If you can get yourself into that state and work through that state, that's where you're actually going to improve your stamina. So this is what I do. I only spend 10 minutes on the treadmill, but I'll do this a couple times a week on days that I don't have uh, training or I don't have matches. I'll do this just for 10 minutes and it makes a massive difference to your stamina. So I'll just start out walking. First of all, I'll put it on about a 3.0 incline. This is supposed to help reduce some of the problems that come with running on a treadmill as far as knee problems. So put it at about a 3.0 incline. You won't even notice this, but it will help. Then I just start out walking. I start at about a start at about a three. So I'm just walking, and each minute I'm going to increase the intensity by one point. So after one minute of walking, I'll move to 4.0, which is about slow jogging. I'll work all my way all the way up to about 11.0 on the treadmill, and I'm doing this just in about 10 minutes. So if you want to increase the intensity, start at about a four and work your way to a 12. But I think starting at a three and going to a 10 is a very good place to start. You will find it difficult, especially if you haven't done this before. Now, while I'm running, I'm just focusing on good running mechanics. I'm not counting down the seconds on the clock and hoping that it passes faster. I'm just focusing on my breathing and I'm focusing on good running mechanics. Nice arm pump, a little bit of a forward lean. Make sure that you're driving your knees forward. Your foot strikes are on the balls of your feet, not the heels of your feet. And really focus on having everything, your body, your legs, your limbs, your arms, moving forward rather than going side to side. The cool thing about running on a treadmill is you can really notice how efficient you are with your movement. Is everything traveling forward or are you waving and wobbling side to side? So if you want to improve your stamina, remember, you don't want to do something that is easy. Going for a jog for 30 minutes at an easy pace is not going to help you on the field. You need to do something that is challenging. So something like this where I'm gradually increasing my intensity until I hit this point where I feel like giving up, then I push through it a little bit more and then I'll just calm down. I'm getting a lot of benefit from that in a short period of time. So the 10 minutes I spend on the treadmill are more valuable than someone running for an hour at a moderate and easy pace. So take these ideas if you want to start training on the treadmill, use it for yourself and I guarantee you'll see some improvements to your stamina. I've just created a new training guide. I'm planning to sell it for $20, but today you can get it for free. All you have to do is visit this link and you can download this program instantly.